माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल इजी लर्निंग विद करीमा मैम टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व स्टोरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फाइव डी ऑफ सब्रेक्शन चैप्टर देन वाई टू वेट लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेंग दैट उषा नीड्स रूपीज थ्री थाउजेंड टू बाई अ हैंड बैग ऑफ हर चॉइस She has rupees one thousand seven hundred fifty. How much money does she need more? Let us solve question number one. Here, the first statement is amount required to buy a handbag is equal to rupees three thousand. Second statement is the amount she has is equal to rupees. One thousand seven hundred fifty. So the third statement will be, therefore, more amount needed to buy the handbag is equal to rupees three thousand minus rupees one thousand seven hundred fifty. So now we will subtract. and this calculation portion students you have to do by yourself after calculation you will write the answer answer will be here rupees and whatever answer will come here the same answer you have to write in this blank space after that you will write, write money does she need more now let's move on to question number 2 Here question is saying Navin and his father were leaving for fishing 178 kilometers from home they rode 95 kilometers how much further they have to go let us solve question number 2 here the first statement is the distance between Navin's home and the fishing site is equal to 178 km The second statement is the distance they rode is equal to ninety-five kilometers. So the third statement will be therefore further distance they have to go is equal to one hundred seventy-eight kilometer minus ninety-five kilometer. So now we will do the calculation. Students, you have to fill this blank after calculation. and the whatever number will come the same number you have to fill in this blank space while writing the answer you will write kilometers further they have to go now let's move on to question number 3 it is saying 8530 students appeared in a certain examination 6302 of them passed then how many failed Now let us solve question number three. Here the first statement is number of students appeared in an examination is equal to eight thousand five hundred thirty. Second statement will be number of students passed in that examination is equal to six thousand three hundred two. Now the third statement will be the number of students failed in the examination will be equal to. Eight thousand five hundred thirty minus six thousand three hundred two. Now let's do the calculation portion. Here you have to calculate and you have to write the answer. Oh, and whatever answer will come, the same answer you have to fill in this blank space while writing the answer. Then you will write students failed in the examination. Dear students. this video i am making to help you if any type of advancement you need then please suggest me through whatsapp okay now let's move on to question number 4 a survey of three schools shows that 2953 out of 4000 pupils wear spectacles how many pupils do not wear spectacles let us solve question number 4 Here the first statement will be number of pupils present in the school so is equal to four thousand. 
The second statement will be number of pupils wearing the spectacles is equal to two thousand nine hundred fifty-three. Now third statement will write therefore number of pupils do not wear spectacles is equal to four thousand minus two thousand nine hundred fifty-three. So here we will subtract the both from here and. student you have to do the subtraction after that you have to write answer here and whatever answer will come the same number here again you have to write while writing the answers pupils do not wear spectacles now let's come to question number 5 here question is saying a farmer spent rupees 4500 on a gobar gas plant he got rupees Twenty nine hundred as a loan from a bank. So how much did he spend from his pocket? Now let us solve question number five. Here the first statement will be amount spent on gobar gas plant is equal to rupees four thousand five hundred. The second statement will be the amount taken as loan is equal to two thousand nine hundred. Now the third statement we will write the amount spent from his pocket is equal to rupees four thousand five hundred minus rupees two thousand nine hundred. Here we will subtract both term and students you have to write the answer here in this space and whatever answer will come the same answer you have to again fill in the blanks this blank space while writing the answer and again you will write. Did he spend from his pocket? Is it clear? Let us move on to the question number six. The population of a village is eight thousand three hundred seventy-five. The number of male is four thousand eight hundred sixty-six. So, what is the number of females? Let us solve question number six. Here the first statement will be the population of a village is equal to eight thousand three hundred seventy-five. Second statement will be the number of male citizen is equal to four thousand eight hundred sixty-six. Then the last statement we will write the number of female citizen is equal to eight thousand three hundred seventy-five minus four thousand eight hundred sixty-six. Now we will do the calculation. You have to subtract the both terms, and whatever answer will write the same answer. You will write, have to write in this blank space. Then you will write is the number of female citizen. Is it clear? Now let's move on to question number seven. The sum of two numbers is seven thousand thirty-six. One number is. Three thousand one hundred sixty-eight. Find the other number. Now let us solve question number seven. Here we will write as a first statement: the sum of the two numbers is equal to seven thousand thirty-six. The first number is equal to three thousand one hundred sixty-eight. So the, therefore, the other number will be equal to seven thousand. Thirty-six minus three thousand one hundred sixty-eight. Now we will subtract the both terms. Students, you have to do the calculation, and whatever answer will come, the same answer you have to fill in this blank space. And after that, you will write is the other number. Okay. Now come to the last question number. That is question number eight. Mr Pandey had rupees 9200 in bank he withdrew rupees 2756 how much money does he have in the bank now now let us solve question number 8 here the first statement will be bank balance of mr pandey was equal to rupees 9200 Second statement will be the amount withdrawn by him is equal to rupees two thousand seven hundred fifty-six. Now we have to write. Therefore, amount left in his bank is equal to two thousand seven hundred fifty-six 
rupees 9200 minus rupees 2756 now we will do the subtraction portion both term you have to subtract and you have to write here the answer and whatever answer will come the same number again you have to write here in this blank space then you have to write he has in the bank now i hope this video had performed useful to you with many informative terms if you got this video important then please like share and subscribe my channel but don't forget to press the bell icon till then bye bye yeah!